Missions-mindedness has really characterized this campus from its inception. You often hear schools, especially Christian schools, that have had an emphasis on the Great Commission. Uh, after several decades, people serving in ministry around the world, you know, you hear the phrase, the sun never sets on a, and then you insert the name of the school. Well, uh, that certainly has been true of Southwestern as well, but what is unique about Southwestern is how early in our school's history you could make that statement, the sun never sets on a Southwesterner. The individual students, alum, who really impacted what the missions program at Southwestern is like through the decades, it comes back to four in particular. Uh, the first one I would call attention to is uh, a couple by the name of W.E. and Helen Davis. They graduated in 1930 and immediately went to the field and served in the 1930s and the 1940s in India. After serving there, they, they made, a, made a tremendous impact then coming back and leading the missions program. Now the next one I would call attention to is U Jeter. And of course our prayer center is named after Brother Jeter. And he probably is clearly at the forefront of some of the names that have impacted our campus during those decades and even up till today. The last person, certainly not the least, is a lady by the name of Elizabeth Wilson. And Elizabeth graduated in 1936, immediately left and went to China. But in the 40s, she began to lead the missions department right here on this campus. And what is very significant there is the couple that came on the scene as students in the 40s and she influenced them and they would ultimately impact missions on campus. And I guess the point of what I want to call attention to and as we, as we kind of lay out these lives is how each one of them have impacted the generation that has followed. And you can see a direct link between all the way from P.C. Nelson's vision for what Southwestern was supposed to be to those early alum and how they impacted later alumni who in turn kept this emphasis on missions going. That couple that Elizabeth Wilson impacted were Delmer and Eleanor Gwines. And we met here on campus. She came from Oklahoma and she was a student here. She had a very definitive call to China. God spoke to her in an audible voice in her home church. I had my experience, very genuine experience, uh, and felt the call to China myself. So 30 years after my wife had heard, heard God's voice saying, will you go to China? The doors just opened and we were in China. I was asked to become the president here, stayed a while, but couldn't give up our China ministry, then continued in China for another several years, came back here as missionaries in residence at our furlough time. And I was asked again to become the president a second time with a great missionary focus all, all the time. I never really had any other focus than a missionary one. The Guines went back, uh, did further work in China, but then came back in the 90s. And in the 90s, they had the direct impact on Chad and Angela. Missions has always been in Southwestern's DNA. I mean, the very purpose for the establishment of the school, as stated by P.C. Nelson, was to take the whole gospel uh, for the whole man to the whole world. And when I came here in 1994, Dr. Gwines uh, had come back just a few years prior to that as the president and was, was very committed to uh, maintaining that purpose here at Southwestern. Truly the greatest need of the mission field was for long-term missionaries who would learn the language, learn the culture, and commit themselves to church planning and leadership development. And so as I began to contemplate how do you get more workers to the mission field, uh, naturally one of the first stops had to be the Bible schools of the Assemblies of God. I was contacted by Dr. Brooks and asked whether or not I might be interested to come and serve as the World Ministries Director here at Southwestern. And immediately it completely bore witness with what God had already been putting in my heart to challenge and mentor and take students to the nations. Southwestern has always been a mission school. I'm pleased to, to see what's happened and how the mission's emphasis has not only continued, but it's grown in intensity and it's become very dynamic. What I hope for the current student body, I'm looking for the individuals now 
that are being touched by Chad, those that in recent years were touched by Joel, those leaders are going to go out, take the gospel around the world, and in turn, they are going to uh, invest in who knows who the next missions leader at Southwestern is going to be in the days to come. But one thing for sure, uh, there is there's always going to be a ready individual that God's going to call and keep this, this training program and this passing it on from one generation to the next. Uh, that's, that's what Southwestern is all about.